On today's fix and bugs and stuff, we're going to replace this reverse switch on the transmission. Okay, one underneath the transmission as we go up, 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 up. We're looking at replacing this guy right here. Um, that is your reverse switch. It's kind of hard to get to, so we're gonna have to remove this guy first. I believe he's 15 millimeter. And I think that one is 22, if I'm not mistaken. So we can get a little closer. Uh, as you can see here, let's see that oil drip there. That's because that switch is leaking, that's one thing. Um, also, that switch is missing another prong. Uh, so you can, it's supposed to have two um, wires to hook up to it. That way it's on and off and it's broken off as well. So we're just gonna replace it. And again, I apologize guys, I haven't been putting out a lot of videos. It's just been a little crazy around here at the shop. So, been, so now it's slowing down, I'm gonna have to Post some videos. All right, so let's see if I can do this one-handed, trying to get this off. All right, let's try to do this one-handed. 15 millimeter socket goes on here. These are smaller, I mean, you can see here, it's a flanged nut here, and it's a little smaller so you can get a a socket on here if it was the size uh, it's still um, I think it's M 10 or 12 I don't remember um, it's still a, that size a large thread it's just a shoulder down almost there I apologize for shaking you guys so much I don't mean to it's just a tight area Camera's not working well at the moment. I think I got it loose enough. Make sure I put that back. Now we have that out of the way. Now we can get to that guy. And I believe that is a 22 millimeter wrench. That's what it takes. So let me grab that. Okay, I put the plugs in, cleaned her up pretty good. Um, what's left is putting on this uh, grounding strap. And um, that should be it. And then I'm gonna go to the front and then we're gonna test it out to make sure that everything works. Now you're probably asking me what plug goes where on the back of this switch. And it really doesn't matter, it's just a switch. It's an on and off switch for your reverse lights. So it really doesn't matter. Um, you can, mine's pink. At the moment, I'm not sure what colors are on your wiring, um, but mine's pink and I have one black. So again, it doesn't matter. It's an on-off switch. doesn't matter which one uh, you use or which one you put it on. So, okay, we're going to finish this up, put the nut on here, and then um, we'll test it and see if the reverse light really works. Okay, let's... Hop to the front, see if uh, we got reverse. So, let's power this on. All right, turn the key, we got power on. And let's put this baby in reverse. That's reverse, it's gotta be in all the way for the light to come on. And let's check the back. All right, it works. It works very well. Let's take it out of reverse, make sure it switches off. So neutral power is still on. Let's check in the back. All right, we look good. No problems. All right, guys, that should be it. Let me switch this off. Um, that's how you would switch out your reverse light switch on your transmission it does have a, some kind of washer on it um, to prevent anything from leaking the old one I pulled out did not uh, see if I can find that guy Ugh. this is the old 
one here. All right, so this is the old one here. If you can see it. Um, now what I was missing about, well, I was talking about the missing, uh, what do you call it? The missing prong here. That's where it was missing at right there. It's kind of hard to focus. You have one on that side. You need to have two. And usually there's a washer on here. It's like an aluminum washer to seal it when it's in the transmission. And when I took this out, this wasn't very tight, so it's possible that this was just loose. But regardless, I had to replace it anyway because it was broken. But that is it. So that wraps it up for today. It's kind of a short video, but there'll be more videos coming up. Uh, there's a lot more to do on this car. There's a lot more to do on other cars. I do have uh, this fuel injected engine. I have not decided what I'm going to do with yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it high performance or not. Uh, you guys can tell me. Give me some ideas. Give me some of your opinions. What you think. Uh, I also have this case here I'm doing for another guy in the club. Uh, he wants to make a 1776. So that will be coming up soon. As well as far as that engine build goes. Um, and I have several other engine projects that are coming up. Um, nothing crazy here. Uh, this is my engine. Um, kind of a neat freak when it comes to this kind of stuff. Let's see if I can get a flashlight here. Way you guys can see a little better. Hopefully that helps. Um, yeah, I like to have my engines just spotless. It's just how I am. Anyway, uh, that's basically it. Uh, please like, subscribe, and comment, and let me know what you think. All right, guys, take care.